Hey YouTube Boeing fan 727 coming at you guys with a uh, something I have not done in a while. Today I'm going to be doing an aircraft review for two aircraft. Um, one's going to be the uh, Finnair Airbus A340-300 and the other one will be the uh, China Southern Airbus A330-200. Uh, I haven't done uh, any aircraft review in a long time so uh, I'm going to be doing one right now. Uh, this will be a two-parter just because I do want to just keep the video short and stuff like that but I'm um, I am just going to jump right into this air update, so I mean, uh, this review, so I'm going to bring in the model. Um, this is a, obviously a Gemini Jets aircraft. Uh, I got this aircraft from a good friend of mine, JetBlue595, who uh, sent me this aircraft. Really beautiful model. Uh, I think it's I. it's been known to be pretty rare. I don't see a whole lot of people who uh, have them here on YouTube, but I do love this aircraft. It's just a beautiful model. Stuff like that. It's just it's so beautiful. Um, so this was a um, let me look at the back of the box. This was a uh, 2011 release, so fairly new actually, which I'm a little shocked about. Um, I figured it would have been an 08 release, but it's a uh, 11 release. So let's uh, look at the box. Look in the inside of the box. Uh, if you let me uh, actually just straighten this out a little bit. If you wish to read any, uh, if you wish to read the information on the aircraft, please pause the video here. If you wish to read any of the specifications down here, please pause the video here. Um, so all the box is in pretty good condition. I do like it. Um, just your typical Gemini Jets box, nothing too special about it. But then we are going to get into the aircraft. As you see here, Finnair just has a like I said, one of my this is probably one of my favorite paint jobs. It's just a beautiful aircraft. And, uh, let me just some of the crap off of it because this is a pretty good camera. So uh, I'm gonna start up here by the front door. Just, oh, so much detail, like I said, right there. I mean, just look at that. Um, a little bit of something up here. It's like a registration marking, or I don't know what it is, but it says. Uh, QF. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but I think it's just something to do with the re registration. On the uh, gear doors, it, again, down there, it says, let me actually just drag a little bit closer to the edge so I can show you. If it would focus just a little bit more. Yeah, come on, you can do it. A little bit more. There you go. Yeah, it says QF right down there. Um, just moving down the aircraft, you see there, just thin air, just beautiful, and all the crap on it and stuff like that. Um, engine, engines are in nice detail, nothing wrong with the aircraft, a lot of detail on the engines, uh, shows you the, uh, thrust reverser doors. Look on the inside of the winglet, there's the thin air logo, uh, it's not on the outside of the winglet, it's just, a uh, standard white winglet. Registration, now uh, there's the aircraft, uh, Just a little bit more. Airbus A340-300, and then the registration. Uh, Oscar Hotel, uh, Lima, Quebec, Foxtrot, and then the, uh, should be the country's flag. Back door, uh, have a lot of detail here on the tails. You see right there, Finnair logo. Um, wings are decently detailed. Uh, it's plausible detail right there. Not too bad, typical Gemini Jets detail. I'm gonna rotate it around to the other side. Pretty much same thing on the other side. It's nothing different. Um, got your forward cargo door on this side. Some static ports. And you got your baggage hair on this model. Hmm. It's probably for my dog and whatever. Uh, baggage door and then your rear cargo door. So, so much meh over the model. And look at the uh, underside. Like I said, nothing much to mention. Uh, something on the underside of the engine's just got some arrows that point forward. Uh, Gear does tilt. No, it does not tilt. Gear does not tilt. It does have rolling landing gear. You see right here, landing gear does roll. Um, got your uh, forward door, got your forward gear doors. No gear doors down here, which is a little weird. But yeah, pretty much standard detail. I got your registration under the wing. But it's a great aircraft. I do like it. Um, I, I greatly thank JetBlue Five Nine Five for setting me this aircraft. It's honestly the pride of my fleet uh, aircraft here at the Skyport. I love this aircraft so much. Um, it's just so beautiful. Just I love it so much. Um, 
Uh, I, I, I've always loved Finnair. Been amongst my favorite airlines. Um, if you have any um, questions about uh, any of the aircraft here at the Skyport, about where they operate. Oh, Finnair does operate to Stockholm. No, not Stockholm. Helsinki, Finland. Um, here out of the Skyport, so that's the, their only route. Um, if you have any uh, questions about any of the aircraft here at the Skyport, if you have any questions about the A340, or if you would like to request another review, uh, mind you, I've done a few reviews in the past. I think on my United 738, um, I forget what aircraft I've uh, reviewed, uh, Delta 763, I think my Allegiant, I might do, redo all my reviews since I have a better camera now. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please stay tuned for my uh, China Southern, which I'll be doing here momentarily. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Please comment and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.